Hey guys, Silence here here. Welcome to a very special update video uh, with me. So, if you didn't know, um, just a few hours ago from when this video goes live, uh, there was a live broadcast, uh, Utah Macross special, uh, that was shown live on YouTube and Nico Nico Doga. So, the host were basically uh, Minoringo and uh, Mamegu. So, if you're not familiar with their nicknames, uh, Minoringo is actually Suzuki Minori, uh, Freya uh, Rion on Macross Delta, and of course uh, Nakajima Megumi who is Ranga Chan on uh, Macross Frontier. So the two of them uh, have been holding special live broadcasts for Ultime Macross content ever since Ultime Macross launched last, uh, last year. Uh, and they had the Christmas SP live broadcast. Uh, in December. So this time round they're doing one for the Golden Week holiday in Japan. So here we go. We're going to talk about all the important information that has been announced during this uh, SP broadcast and we're going to go through with the most important one first. So let's take a look at this um, content here and down in the screen. Um, Alright, so basically this content is a live broadcast special event. Uh, if you guys have watched the live broadcast and have already played the um, event song, which you can see down in the description or rather in the video below, uh, it's saying that you need to play Anata no Oto, uh, which is Ranka Lee's song on my cross frontier, uh, play it on easy mode. And of course, having Ranka as your center diva. So you just need to put uh, Ranka in your center position diva. Uh, so she doesn't have to wear a specific costume. It can be any particular costume um, that you have obtained from Ranka. It can be even the most basic school uniform costume. Uh, no problem there. So only 10 people out of the entire Uta Macross fandom um, will be selected to win 1,000 singing stones. This is awesome. Very, very awesome. But sadly, it's only 10 people. So do take note um, of the um, let's say event period. So the event period actually, or rather, the event actually starts from the, the announcement of this uh, on Utah Macross SP. So basically now to the 23rd of April, uh, Japan time of 23 hours and 59 minutes so basically before midnight on the 23rd of April so uh, if you guys are in um, the countries in Europe uh, the states and all that make sure you check your time with your world clock especially um, make sure it follows along with the Japan clock so make sure you have actually played um, this event song or rather this song um, in the standard live um, tabs so look for my cross frontier and look for Anata no Oto and play it on easy mode with Ranka Chan in the center diva position. So she doesn't have to wear a specific costume, any costume will do fine. So okay, the most important information has been moved aside. You have to do this as soon as possible. If not, uh, you're going to lose your chance on winning the 1000 singing stones. Who knows? Um, it's pure raffle and pure luck. So uh, it doesn't matter what score you get or um, what costume you get, even if you don't get perfect um, uh, full combo, it's fine. As long as you play the song under easy uh, Ranka in the center position and any costume will do. So yeah, uh, hopefully you guys won the 1000 singing stones. I don't know. I've already played my portion of the event, so hopefully I win something. But uh, you know, um, 10 people out of uh, how many million people have downloaded the game <laughs> it's pretty a slim chance okay so moving on here you can see down below um, it is Uta Macross challenge now this challenge has nothing to do with us players it's basically challenging the host of or rather the special guest on this live broadcast so Minori uh, Minoringo, I'm gonna call Minoringo because <laughs> I'm more familiar with that. Uh, and Mamegu uh, are gonna play one song on their own and one song together. So basically, here I'm gonna show you um, um, if either of them plays a live and they fail, basically fail um, with without completing the song at all. Um, 
for us players, we will be rewarded with zero singing stones. Now, okay, the rewards you see down below, these are the rewards that are going to be given to us by Dana, um, the Uta Macross, um, or rather the company that produces Uta Macross. They're going to give us these singing stones uh, depending on the results of the host or the, the special guest of this live broadcast. So, if all of them or both of them um, rank C to B on a particular song, we will only receive 20 singing stones. Or if they have ranked uh, A to S, uh, we will receive 30 singing stones for each song they ranked at this particular ranking. So. And if they rank double S, we will obtain 40 singing stones. So in total, there was supposed to be, um, how do you say, three songs that were being played. So we should have gotten 120 singing stones if all three songs were under the double S ranking. But the um, producer of Uta Macross herself, the lady in the broadcast, uh, that's hosting together with the male host. Uh, no, not the hostess, you know, you get what I mean. So, um, they basically mentioned that if all of them, uh, both of them, have ranked double S on all of the songs, we will be gifted with 100 singing stones instead of 120. So, we are kind of uh, short by 20 singing stones in the end, but it's fine. Um, so, here are the results. So, we're going to show you down here, so this is the first song that uh, Minori plays. Um, so it's a uh, she she managed to get double S on this song uh, under the normal difficulty. Uh, so as you can, if if you guys have followed my cross Tomara Nai, uh, you know that most of the the seiyus on the shows are not as uh, how I say musically inclined in terms of gaming. So. Um, Yes, Minori plays the, the song under normal difficulty, which is fine. Uh, she, she had fun playing it and she managed to get double S for us, so this is fantastic. So uh, here we go, we got Mamegu playing <laughs> on Extreme. So she is the only Seiyu that is able to play Extreme, or rather she's the only Seiyu guest that has gone onto any Macross live broadcast and played uh, live um, Uta Macross on those live broadcasts. Uh, under extreme conditions so hmm <laughs> and yeah she managed to double s clear um she was kind of disappointed that she didn't do a full combo but you know uh, that's just her gamer blood uh boiling so but she did manage to pull off a double s for us so we are getting those um 40 singing stones as you can see down here on this screen um so yeah um and for now on the last song both of them had to play it together uh, under the extreme condition. So both of them, uh, lucky for us, we we managed to get double S ranking from both of them. So we did win 100 singing stones um, from this Uta Macross challenge from both voice actresses. So uh, good job to both Minoringo and Mamegu for doing a job well done on clearing double S for all these songs. So. We'll see um, that 100 singing stones in our reward box soon enough. So, alright, the next important thing, if you guys recall long ago, uh, I didn't do a video on this uh, because back then I didn't think of do, um, doing Uta Macross update videos. Um, but I did post on the uh, Macross Delta fan page if you guys have joined it since um, I've mentioned it a few times. Um, I do post a lot of content on the Uta, uh, Macross Delta page over there so if you guys want to join I'll leave the link in the description down below um, do hit up the group and well you can always stay in contact there so um, in the last year um, before Christmas in fact um, there was a contest announcement for Ranka's birthday costume uh, if you have taken part with or taken part by submitting your um, Ranka dress submissions um, well, here's the winner for the Ranka birthday dress contest. So, as you can see, very, very um, cute and, how do I say, adult style of dress. Uh, it's a very elegant and cute style. At the same time, it gives Ranka a more mature look. Yeah, and very, very sexy indeed. Uh, if you take note of the uh, dress 
well, high cut on the skirt portion. That's very revealing. But as you can see on the 3D um, projected image of the Diva, the high cut kind of is um, lowered, I guess, because of the dance uh, movements and all this, so that you can prevent players from peeking under the skirt. <laughs> but, you know, you can never stop the Japanese from doing so. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, congratulations to the winner, whoever got picked uh, and submitted this, con uh, this dress submission. It's a very, very wonderful dress um, drawn by the artist um, themselves. And luckily for us, we are able to get this S uh, mission clear um, reward. So, like the last um, costume that was given this way, it was Cheryl Gnome's uh, lion costume, um, which is, well, basically you clear a mission and you game the costume. So, this time round, we don't have to throw money into a gacha to obtain Ranka's birthday costume. <sighs> Thank goodness. Uh, but, <laughs> so, uh, but, so there are there is some bad news that will come right after this. So I'm gonna show you guys the clip of uh, uh, Mamegu playing um, the song uh, Nijiro Kumakuma with Ranka's birthday costume. So enjoy. Alright, so if you guys noticed, um, it was mentioned in the live broadcast that the special stage for uh, Nijiro Kuma Kuma uh, when Ranka is wearing her birthday costume, uh, the stage becomes a happy birthday Ranka stage. At the same time, uh, it actually rains um, sakura petals, so that's pretty awesome. Alright, so right here, right now, I'm showing you guys, um, it is the banner for Ranka's birthday. Uh, so it's a login bonus, basically like any of the other uh, birthday login bonuses. You just log in for the day, receive 25 singing stones, and that's it. So <laughs> that's pretty much how they're going to congratulate Ranka's birthday. Um, it's the same thing as any of the other divas' birthday. But Ranka is a little bit special, I guess. So, alright, so here is why it's a bit special. Okay, so on this day, um, for on the 27th of April, from 12 midnight to, or rather 12, or rather um, 0 hours a.m., uh, if, if you follow accordingly to how the Japanese put their timing, 0 hours a.m., basically 12 midnight on the 27th of April, uh, all the way to the 30th of April on the 23rd hour, 59 minutes, basically before midnight, um, on the 30th of April. Okay, I know it's a bit confusing, but if you just look at the image down below, yeah, that's pretty much the time, the, the duration of this um, event that's going to happen. So, Ranka's birthday, um, I say, how you say, training, uh, training campaign. Okay, so basically during this period, if you use Ranka in any of your Divas 
um, playing alive she will gain um, what do you call it proficiency points uh, much faster uh, so if you guys want to up Ranka's proficiency uh, or rather you know Diva's level well, this is the, the time to do it. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, if, if you've never used any of the divas other than the main divas that you love, well, you might want to reconsider leveling up their proficiency because it's going to help you with uh, events and all this. So, take note of this Ranka's training campaign. Uh, if you have not been using Ranka at all, this might be the time to consider using Ranka to level her up. Uh, which might help you in the future for future events. Okay, so here we have a brand new banner. They, this is not new news, um, but it's always good to uh, remind the players that there is such a thing going on. So, like last year, we had Ranka's birthday contest, uh, Ranka's birthday costume contest. So, <laughs> this time around, uh, we are having Cheryl Gnome's birthday costume contest. So, hmm. Alright, so the costume contest actually started on the 9th of April, uh, quite some time back. I did post this contest info on the Macross Delta page uh, some time back as well. So, if you guys want to take part and try submitting your um, designs for Cheryl Gnome to wear in Ulta Macross, just like how Ranga is getting hers now, um, yeah, um, I'll leave the link in the description below. Um, it's all in Japanese though. I would love to translate it for you guys, but uh, I don't really have the time. Um, yeah, I've got work and all that, plus other commitments on the various Macross pages and all this, plus my own personal YouTube channel content. So I would really love to translate it for you guys, but the details aren't that difficult. Basically, you just download the um, document format and sketch it, you know, in that format then submit it um, with all the details that they require from you guys. So that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully you'll be selected as the winner and then of course you'll get the rewards according to how what they've stated on the website itself. So yeah. Alright, moving on. The next very, very generous information coming from Dana. Uh, yeah, so they're going to celebrate Golden Week by having a lock-in bonus. So which is pretty awesome. So it's a Musume Musume Golden Week lock-in bonus. So here we go. Uh, as you can see, Ranka and Cheryl in their chibi forms with um, the singing stones beside Ranka. And in the Japanese text near Cheryl Gnome, uh, it says, we are getting 500 singing stones as presents. Then in very tiny font, uh, this is what it says. Basically, we are getting... Let's see... I actually written down like the whole amount of stuff they are giving us. Okay, so 500 singing stones and two ta two pieces of episode ops medium size, uh, one piece of episode op large size, and four energy ethers. So this is a very, very generous login bonus. Um, probably looking at the images here, this login bonus is... Well, a duration of uh, how many days? Well, it's basically from the 30th of April all the way to the 2nd of May. So, um, let me take a look at the calendar. The 30th of April to 2nd of May. Basically, uh, within the next, within those three days, we'll be getting all these rewards. So, um, as long as you log in within these three days from the 30th to the 2nd of May, um, you should be able to obtain the rewards. I don't think they will split up the rewards, so just have to log in once um, and you obtain all the rewards at one go. So, as long as you don't forget to log in every day, you should be fine. <laughs> uh, I know there are a few people who uh, tend to, you know, um, play only when they have the mood to. So, casual players, very extremely casual players. Um, I'm just giving you a heads up. You might want to log in uh, between the 30th to the um, 2nd of May. Yeah, so make sure you obtain these wonderful rewards. 500 singing stones, that's like one one pool of 10 episode plates. So, you might want to obtain those 500 singing stones. Okay, so moving on to the next important 
update which is the most annoying one when I saw it uh, because if you guys remember like I just mentioned uh, just a few moments ago Ranka's birthday costume did not require us to spend gacha um, <laughs> singing stones on the gachas uh, which is fantastic. I was very, very happy until they showed this. <laughs> Ranka birthday step gacha. Oh my god. So, um, okay. This, this is the first for Uta Macross, but it's not the first in any Japanese mobile game. Um, okay, this, this is basically a marketing strategy where they make players um, spend real life money to purchase uh, dig digital money basically singing stones for us uh, because of this campaign um, all right so if you take a look at the image down below it says step one 300 singing stones now what does this mean basically at step one okay um, you only need to spend 300 singing stones to pull 10 episode plates now the pull rate for this is normal so it is not the double up um, uh, how you say not the double chance of getting a five star six star episode plate whatever you want to call it for me I'm just gonna go with six star so um, I know most of us would definitely love to obtain a six star episode plate um, but you know under normal rarity pools um, it is kind of difficult but because it is 300 singing stones you might want to consider it all right step two um, <laughs> 500 singing stones for 10 episode plates um, with the rarity up of two times um, which is basically hmm, your normal um, I would say your normal rate up okay most gachas that we usually have for the new ones um they start with a rate up gacha because um they want the players to spend money during this short period of time to try and gain the main um, episode plate feature in the gacha so this one um basically instead of your normal big rate up this is big rate up two times so <laughs> basically your standard big a uh, big rate up uh, with the double percentage or uh, chance of getting um six star episode plates um so yeah and then of course step three basically like step one you spend 400 singing stones on 10 episode plates uh it didn't show the rate up there so my guess is this is gonna be a normal rate uh, gacha pool just that is discounted so yeah and step four which is the most important one that's why it's bold and the font is much larger than anything else okay 500 singing stones for 10 episode plates with a guarantee i say again guaranteed you know it says there five star episode plate well for me i call it six star episode plate uh if you get it uh, if you get a duplicate, it's going to evolve to a 6 star anyway, so 6 star episode play. So, anyways, yes, this is the most important gacha uh, step that you do not want to miss. The rest of them you can just consider. Um, yeah, so 500 singing stones for 10 episode plates with one guaranteed 6 star episode plate given to you. So, do not miss out on this. And of course, the last one, which is step 5, which is your 500 singing stones with your standard gacha rate pool, which is pretty much the normal thing. Now, this event, or rather this uh, birthday step up gacha, um, is going to last from the 27th of April to the 30th of April. So basically, 4 days only. Um, yeah. So four days basically is step one to step four. Step five is your standard gacha, so yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, what you really want to consider is the first four steps. I've already calculated all the singing stones that you actually require if you want to take part in all four steps. Uh, it's 1,700 singing stones. Basically, it's the most expensive pack of singing stones you can purchase in the online store so as long as you purchase the 1700 singing stones pack um, 
you can actually take part in all four steps singing. Uh, all four steps uh, can, you know, pools. Uh, Alright, so don't mind me guys, it is very late. I'm actually recording this video right now at 1.33am after going through all the recordings and typing out the info and all this. Uh, I didn't want to really get any of the information wrong this time round because this this info is actually very very important uh, especially for players who are very casual in playing so yeah um, don't mind me if I I'm a bit draggy and I'm a bit exhausted so anyway guys um, that's pretty much all my advice for the uh, step up gacha we are not done with the information there is a lot it was a two hour broadcast so there is a lot of content to be mentioned Okay, so moving aside, um, the next image here, which is pretty normal. Um, okay, we're getting these two songs permanently added on these specific dates. So the 27th of April at 3 p.m. Japan time, uh, we're getting Nijiro Kuma Kuma as a permanent song. It is not going to be added in the uh, space dimension or rather super dimension uh, tab so uh, I don't know I, the Japanese translated as super space time you know so but the English translators call it super dimension I don't know <laughs> so anyways I think it's just um, correct me if I'm wrong but to me personally space time and dimensions do not link with each other unless you're talking about science uh, and formulas and all that kind of stuff but you know in Macross they use galaxies so dimensions is a no uh, but you know let's not argue about this <laughs> anyway um, these two songs will be added at this particular date so uh, Wakure ga Tomaranai will be added on the 8th of May uh, same timing as always whenever the server refreshes so it's 3 p.m. Japan time and yeah, they are not going to be in the space-time memory tab, so uh, it's going to be just added just like that. So, you know, what's always good about new songs is, well, singing stones can be obtained from new songs. And of course, now that we have the ranking system, the player ranking system, it's going to help add bonus points to your ranking, and hopefully um, you level up from there. So anyway, guys, next thing is the most exciting thing and final piece of information. Here we have event fight on stage two diva uh, already two person diva uh, song so <laughs> which is really exciting uh, we've been wanting this for a very long time basically now we have it uh, kind of well um, we don't really know the full details about who can take part in the uh, the dance of the particular song my guess is only specific divas can actually dance together in that specific song so not much was revealed other than the fact that um, yeah we've been only shown Cheryl and Ranka in triangular fight on stage so as you can see um, this event basically was uh, start from the 30th of April uh, 3 p.m. Japan time all the way to the 7th of April um, Wow, okay, the timing here it says 8 p.m. Uh, 59 minutes Japan timing. So yeah um, If you if you love to record Utah Macross videos and do editing on them Well, this is the, f the first time where you don't really need to edit uh, To make the video awesome because now we have two of the divas actually dancing together on the same screen uh, without the need for editing effects. So <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, so that's pretty exciting. So I'm going to leave the um, clip here uh, for you guys to enjoy where they've actually demonstrated the two diva um, background dancing in Uta Macross. Enjoy!
Welcome back guys. So, okay, right here I'm going to show you an image um, of the uh, Diva setup before they actually started playing. I forgot to include that into the video, but it's fine. Um, okay, so if you take note of the top left hand corners of Cheryl and Ranka, there is a small green triangle there. Basically, those are the Divas that will be inside the video of the uh, song that you're about to play. Now, we don't really know um, if you can actually have two other divas other than Cheryl and Ranka perform at the same time in this particular song. But, you know, we'll find out more once they've updated this in the game. Which will happen, alright, let me take a look at the date here. Which will happen on, well, 26th of April to, uh, yeah, 26th of April at... 1300 hours to 1700 hours Japan time. So during this period, we sadly to say we won't be able to play Ultime Macross at all. So make sure you spend all your energy before this time. Um, you know, you don't want to waste those energy away. And make, use, make full use of that energy and obtain as much um, uh, points for your Divas proficiency. Uh, or maybe even EXP for your player uh, player level, you know, you want to get your EXP as high as possible before you level up just for the next event, you know, make full use of that. So yeah, anyway guys, thank you guys so much for staying with me all the way to this very long draggy update. Oh my goodness, it is now, what time is it? It's 1.40.41. Okay, it took me almost about 20 minutes to record this video. I can only imagine what you guys have to go through watching and hearing me talk. So, <laughs> anyway guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video has been very enlightening for you guys on the information of Uta Macross that was mentioned in the Uta Macross special uh, Golden Week announcement broadcast. So, Thank you guys so much for watching once again. If you like what you see in here, do hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon for more Utah Macross videos in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!